I believe our topic for tonight is significant because God wants us to go higher. It's like John. Go into the mountain tops. We want to go uh, in a higher dimension. Kung saan makakatakunan ng Panginoon. Amen. So, uh, we will be reading a scripture because I believe there are 11 significant mountains na binanggit sa Biblia ng mga isang sa mga kapatid. Na binanggit ng Diyos upang mamusap siya sa kanyang mga propeta. Dito, with Abraham, Moses, and uh, Noah, he built an ark there. So, lahat ng mga mountains na binanggit sa Biblia na mayroong uh, mahalagang bahagi sa ating pananampalataya. We would like to talk about that tonight. Amen. I hope that you will be blessed and you will be uh, enlightened because uh, we need to know more of the deepness of the Bible and let us see ourselves in the Word that we can identify ourselves with God's sermon. We can see ourselves in the days of Noah, in the days of John, in the days of the prophets. So, tayo po ay mamumusap on the 11 mountain peaks of the Lord. So, we will be reading from Exodus chapter 3, verses 11 and 12. Ito po ang sabi ng Diyos kay Moses. Or rather, Moses said unto God first. And Moses said unto God, Who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt. And he said, Certainly, I will be with you. So, walang problema kasi kasama mo ang Panginoon. Saan ka man dalihin ang Panginoon? Anong situation man meron ka sa buhay? As long as God is with you, you can conquer all. You can do all things with Christ, which strengthen and you. And they shall be a token unto thee. What is token? A gift. Amen. That I have sent thee. Ito ay isang tanda. Na ikaw ay pinadala ko. When thou hast brought for the people out of Egypt, pag nailabas mo na ang bayan ko mula sa inyo, ye shall serve God upon this mountain. So God has set forth a mountain for God's people to serve Him. So let's pray as we approach this uh, significant topic to enrich our faith in God and to see how God will want His people to go above, beyond the clouds, beyond the problems, beyond all the cares of this world, that we can go higher, in a higher dimension with Him in our faith. So Lord Jesus, tonight we ask you to bless your word, Father, and anoint the hearts and ears that will listen to your word that we will be discussing. And Lord, help us, Father God, to see ourselves in these mountains, that we can relate our lives, Father, to your people, to your servants that you have met, you have uh, gathered around you, Father, around the God's people as well to serve them. Lord, help us tonight, Father, that we may uh, oversee, or rather, uh, keep our eyes more beyond what we see, and have faith that we can be, Lord God, in heavenly places this afternoon, and enjoy your blessings, enjoy your company, Father, because you promise that you will never leave us nor forsake us until the end of the world, Lord. You are with us, Father, where two or three are gathered in your name. Sinabi mo na nandito ka sa ating kalalitan. So, Lord God, we just commit to you all our needs, lahat ng mga kamigata, problema, karamdaman, Lord, muli namin, sinusuko sa iyo, at ikaw, Panginoon, at umipo sa bawat kapatid, Panginoon, na may mga kailangan, whether it be financial needs, uh, physical needs, spiritual needs, Lord, I believe you are the answer and you will supply all our needs according to your riches and glory. Or give us, Lord, our shortcomings so that we've done wrong, Father. Cleanse us with the blood of Jesus once again. And may the fire of God, Lord, burn every greenness and all iniquities that you find within us, Lord God. And may you replace it, Lord, with the holiness of God, Father, as we uh, enjoy, Lord God, fellowshiping and upon, under the anointing of your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. And salamat muli. Sa lahat ng iyong pag-iingat, biyaya, at sa lahat ng iyong provision sa aming araw-araw. Lord, pulitin ka sa mga ka, at muli ka mag-aris ang iyong puso, at may kas ka sa aming kalagitan sa kalagitan. This is our prayer 
In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. 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 God bless you mga kapatid na narito. Sa mga nandun, sa aning lang kami. Musicians natin, crew, videographer, and my family, our MC Toots. And we have Brother Arnold. Sa nating kapatid, ang aning bang pasit. Okay, so tayo po ay dumako sa kahalagaan ng mountain. What is the significance of mountain in the plan of God? Because most of the time, God would meet His prophets on top of the mountain. And I believe there is a significant or a symbolic representation that a mountain relate to God's purpose in the the earth or on the earth. A mountain is, according to the dictionary, is a natural elevation of the earth's surface and it's a place of higher altitude. So, napakasarap nito na pumunta sa bundok, di po ba? You feel free, you feel fresh, you could breathe fresh air, di ba? Sa mga nakapunta na sa Mount Mayon o sa iba pang mga bundok, maaaring sa Antipolo, Tanay, wherever you go, you can feel something na wala dito sa valley. You can feel something na parang nasa nakalutang ka and you can see everything around you. So, mataas ang kalagayan nyo. Alam nyo ba, ang sabi nito, a mountain is a universal symbol of the nearness of God. Ito lang ay isang simbolo ng paglapit Lalo sa Diyos, because we can read in the Bible that the Lord said, Heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. So, it surpasses ordinary humanity and extends towards the sky and the heavens. It speaks, spiritually signifies the state of absolute consciousness. So, iba pang pandama mo, the absolute consciousness, you feel conscious of your surrounding, of your height. So, makikita natin na ang mountains pala, they are thought to contain divine inspiration. Pag nasa puto ka, you know, prophets, Elijah, Brother Branham, and most of them go to the mountains, to the forests, to be alone with God, to talk with God, and to be in solitude, to be able to meditate upon the words of the Lord. So, it is the focus mostly of pilgrimages. Maraming tao pumupunta sa mundo. See? A pilgrimage of transcendence. Sabi nito, and spiritual elevation. Para tumahas sa kanilang spiritual consciousness, makikita sila sa mundo. Amen. Kaya makikita natin, those prophets of all, they love the wilderness, the mountain. See, ano pa ang sabi? Alam nyo man sa bundok ang gagaling yung mga fresh water. Naturally, mountains matter for water as mountains are the world's water towers, providing between 60 and 80% of all fresh water resources for our planet. So, kaya pag ang bundok, nakakalunan, see, yung tubig, madalas, bumabaha na kasi dati sinisipsip ng mga punong kawin ng tubig. So, it causes flooding when you cut the trees because water is being held by the roots most of the time and makikita natin doon ang ikali ang ating hinihinom sa mga brooks, sa mga rivers, sa mga streams and spring. Alam natin, doon ang umula sa mga bukal ng mundo ang sariwang tubig na hinihinom. Mountains matter for food. Yung pagkain natin, madalas galing din sa mga bundok. Diba? Fruits, whatever, coconuts, ano bang mga nangitatangin sa bundok. Even palay or rice. If you go to the mount, terraces, diba? Yung tinatawag natin uh, rice terraces, nasa bundok po yan. See? They matter for food as they are a home to many important agricultural biodiversity and are home to many of the foods that come to our table. So, kaya makikita natin, mga kapatid, mahalaga ang puto. But to God, it's very important. Alam nyo ba na most of the significant events in the Bible were held in a mountain? 
So I would like now to move on to these 11 mountains that I have identified to be of significant to God because He dealt with His children on these mountains. Number one, there is what we call the Mount of the Congregation of the Lord in Heaven. Sa langit pala, meron din tinawag na Mount of the Congregation. Before the foundation of the world, I believe God created the angels and they worship Him. And, the, and also, we were created in theophany form. Tayo ay may katawang hindi na sisira. We have a celestial body in heaven na tinawag na tayo mga stars. See, when the stars of God shouted for joy. Diba? Sabi ng Biblia, where were you, Joe? Diba? When the sons of God, the stars in heaven, sabi ng worship, sun. Amen. Tayo yun mga kapatid. And we can read this Mount of the Congregation in, I believe in Isaiah 40, 12. Ito yung gusto, gusto uh, sakupin ni Lucifer. You know, Lucifer is a uh, former uh, angel of God. His right hand angel. At uh, sabi dito, How are thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground which gives wicked the nations? For thou hast said thine heart, I will ascend into the heavens. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Gusto niya magdatag ng rariyan sa ibabaw ng mga anak ng Diyos. I will also sit upon the mount of the congregation. So dito pala, mayroon ng mount mga kapatid. See? In the sides of the Lord. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Sabi dito ni Lucifer, Sabi ng Panginoon, Thou shalt be brought down to hell. Not on this mountain, you cannot pray, but sabi dito, to the sides of the pit. So makikita natin si Lucifer, who was, who once was a right hand side. Uh, Lucifer means uh, a carrier of light, bearer of light. See? Siya po ay silipa dahil gusto niya maghari doon sa mundo ng Panginoon, doon po sa may kaasa-kaasan, mga kapatid. So, I believe, the mountain of the Lord will come down on these days in the new heaven and new earth. Because the city of God will come down the new Jerusalem. And it sets upon a mountain. Is that right? Amen. So, pangalawang mountain na nakita ko dito ay ang sa Old Testament nung kinatagpo ni Lord si Abraham. Saan kinatagpo ng mountain ni Lord? In Mount Moriah. It is where Isaac was brought, was asked of God to be brought upon Mount Moriah to be offered as a sacrifice. God tested the faith of Abraham. Kung mahal mo ba talaga ako, hindi pa. Sa asawa mo, sa anak mo. See? So, kikita natin in Genesis 22, verse 2, and He said, Take now thy son, thy only son, whom thou lovest. Kikita mo, minamahal mo. 25 years, Abraham and Sarah waited for the son, and then God, here, this situation was asking him to, to offer it to God and kill as a sacrifice like the lamb. Si Sabrito, take now thy son, thy only son, whom thou lovest, even Isa, and get thee into the land of Moriah and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will tell thee of. So sa mundo kaya mga kapatid, pinatunayan ni Abraham na mahal niyang Diyos kahit sa anumang bagay sa lupa niya. See? And sometimes God will bring us in upon a mountain and bless us and uh, receive some uh, good things but one day God will test your faith. See? Whether you be brought down or you will still will remain high above that mountain. Diba? So, isipin nyo na lang yung isip ni Abraham. Diba? Ano nasa puso ni Abraham? Ano sabi niya? I know. Diba sinabihan niya yung mga mga uh, servant niya, stay here below because I my son will go up to the mountain and we will come back. Yun ang sabi niya. Sigurado si Abraham na kayang buhay ko yun ni Lord. Yeah. Na kayang anak na sinisahin. Yeah. Who came from nowhere, from a 
dead womb can also come from a dead body and be raised up. For all things are possible with God. Amen. See? Kaya kung nagtiwala tayo sa Diyos, ano man ang kunin niya sa buhay mo, huwag kayo makinahin. Right. See? Kasi sometimes, it's only a test of your love for Him. Because the Bible said, Amen, sabi ni Jesus, He that loveth father, mother, brother, sister, wife, or husband, more than me, is not worthy to be my servant or disciple. Kaya mga kapatid, minsan dadalhin tayo sa mataas at bigla kang dadaustos pero distrust in God. Dahil hindi ka dumadaustos but it is part of your experience that God is testing you and making you more and more strong, stronger because what? Because you passed the test. Lalo, minahal ng Diyos si Abraham or rather, Abraham ang Diyos dahil, Amen. Imbis na naman ang niya, dumating ang anghel, kung sasaksakin niya, sabi ng anghel, stop it. God knows that you love Him. Here, look at that, that lamb. Yung kanipid doon sa, sa bushes. See, sabi ng prophet, hindi pwede ko mura ng lamb doon kasi maraming mountain lion and tigers. Walang pwede ba yung na lamb doon. Kaya sa nagdaling yun, spoken word ng Diyos yung yeah. lamb. Yeah. Praise God, out of nowhere, it was a creation. By God, just to substitute for Isaac his son, to be able to continue with the offering na dapat niya. Amen. Amen. So, yan po ang isang bundok na very historical, especially to the Jews and even to the Israelites, sa mga uh, lahi ni Ismael, the, the Islamic, the Arabic people, because they claim that Abraham was their father also. Pag ng mountain, but I want you to know it is Mount Horeb. Ayan. Dito kinatagpo ni Lord si Moses through a burning bush. See, the name Horeb first occurs at Exodus chapter 3 verse 1. With the story of Moses and the burning bush, according to Exodus 3 5, the ground of the mountain was considered holy and Moses was commanded of God to remove his shoes. Because he is standing on holy ground. So, dito nagpakita ang Panginoon. In all his, his, uh, um, what we may call endeavors or ministry in Egypt, for 40 years that he was soon to be the next Pharaoh, God never appeared to him. Because he was relying on his own strength and wisdom, and he could not deliver Israel with that. Kaya pinapakita nito na hindi natin kaya ano man ang abilidad mo, magaling ka ma, matalino ka, ma, ma, magaling kang, ano yan, lumiskarte, pero kung walang Panginoon sa buhay mo, walang kahit hinatnan ang pagpapagal mo. You need God to send you. If you're a minister, if you're a, an evangelist, whatever, you need to meet God first. See? Mahirap ang ministry na sarili mo lang na uh, voluntary will. Right. See, sabi ng Bible, gifts and callings are without repentance. Yes. Yes. See, gift na yan mula pa noon na binigay ng Diyos sa'yo. But God has to commission you. Amen. So, God told Moses to go and deliver my people. I have heard their cries and I have I have told you to send you to my people. So, this very moment, Moses was, was, uh, tawag dito, inalisa ng lahat. Si, ng kanya ang bilad. Sabi niya, Lord, how, how can I go? I'm stuttering. Ako'y utal na sa pagsasalita. At ako'y matagdana. Si, he forgot about all his abilities. As a commanding general, as an architect and builder, as a, as a wise uh, ruler or Brother, son of the Pharaoh, so-called, si Kuti, umasa na siya sa Panginoon. Sabi niya, what signs will I show my people that you have sent me? And he began, Lord, two signs. Sabi ng Panginoon, put your hand in your bosom. Nung nilagay niya, paglabas may leprosy. Pagbalik, nawala yung leprosy. What is that? Healing power. Amen. 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 And another one is the, the rod. Sabi ng Panginoon, what is it? 
in thy hand, Moses, a rod, put it down. Nung binaba, naging snake, ang kapatid. At yung pinulog niya, naging tungkol ulit. See? Praise God. Hindi magic yun, mga kapatid. It's the power of God. Amen. He can do anything and through his mouth would come out the words of God. He could, he could uh, uh, speak plans. Kaya niya magpagala ng mga lanaw, palaka, at mga bataw, mga grasshoppers. See, he put the rod on the, on the water and turn it to red. Naging dugo, mga kapatid. So kaya, this commissioning of Moses was very significant. And it was done, it was uh, held on a mountain called Mount Horeb. Amen. So, lalahanin natin yan, mga kapatid. So, when Moses was able to bring Israel out of Egypt in what we call an exodus, Amen. Di ba sabi sa binasa natin, dalhin mo sila sa aking bundo. At doon mo sila kakausapin. Which mountain was that? It was in Mount Sinai. Amen. Pang-apat, kung saan tinanggap ni Moses, Moses received the Ten Commandments from God to serve as a uh, what we call a policy or rules for Israel to follow. It was on this mountain where God gave the law and wrote the Ten Commandments with His own fingers. Yeah. With a pillar of fire. Amen. Glory to God. Mataas na lugar. Amen. Hindi sa baba, hindi sa mataas. Just like an eagle. An eagle lives in high places. Gaya tayo ng mga angila, mga kapatid. Nasa mataas na atmosphere. Ang isang Christian, mga kapatid, we are, uh, hindi tayo earthbound, we are heavenly bound creatures. Amen. So, dyan po, binigay ng Panginoon, and what happened to the people of Israel habang nag-iintay sila when they were waiting for Moses and Joshua was with him, guarding him there a little bit uh, lower. See, the people of Israel forgot about Moses. And they thought Moses was already gone. And they made their own uh, uh, relic, uh, a cow, a cup of gold. Kaya sa India, yung cup, eh, holy cow yan. Kasi galing yan doon sa sa takpo na yun. Dito, the cow was holy. See? Pero mga kapatid, alam natin, Aaron himself was the one who was a, a commissioned by the people to melt the gold, the, the jewelry, siya ba? Ayun, gumawa na. Si Aaron pa. Mga kapatid, but when Moses came down, pinagpili sila. When Moses brought down the name of man, sabi ni Moses, those who are with me, who are with the God of Israel. Amen. Uh, lumapit sa akin at yung mga maniniwala sa Diyos, Diyos na yan, manatili dyan. So those people who were loyal to God and to Moses, His prophet, came near Moses and the land. Diba? Cracked and opened. And the earth opened and swallowed them all. Yeah. They can Korah and all those alam natin yung mga lumaban kay Moses sa palipun yun. So, kaya mga kapatid, mahalaga itong Mount Sinai. And Moses brought them there and I believe na ayaw ng mga tao makiharap sa Diyos. Sabi ng mga tao, masisilaw kami, masusunog kami. We will get birds so Moses just go and just tell us what God tells you. So, doon na lang umpisa ang Diyos na sabihin niya, From now on, I will not speak to my people. I will just send my prophets Amen. to speak to them. So, kaya, Amos 3.7, anong sabi ron? Amen. God shall surely do nothing except He reveal His secret to His servants, the prophets. Amen. He will do nothing. Liba na ipahayag niya muna sa kanyang propeta. Ang kanyang gagawin. So, sa madaling sabi, si Moses led the children of Israel For 40 years in the wilderness. May ikot-ikot lang sila because they were murmuring, complaining about the food, the water. But God, break, break manna from them. God, let him speak to the rock and the rock gasp out with water to, to, uh, to give them water and food and even their sandals and dresses, sabi ng Bible, hindi kailangan na luma 
yung kanilang mga damit for 40 years. See? Yung mga chinelas nila, hindi man lang lumipis. And they have a box. Mo- Moses had a, a medicine box. What is it? The Lord is the Lord that healed me. Yeah. Ang Panginoon ay magpapagalit sa inyo. So wala na, wala na kakasakit. Amen. Kung meron na magkasakit, kung natok lang ng ahas, see, the Lord asked Moses to build a brass serpent at sabi ni Lord, tumingin lang kayo. Just look and live. Di wala kang gagawin, tumingin ka lang, magaling ka na sa kagalit ng ahas. What a miracle! Just obey the word. Commandments of the Lord and God is obligated to heal you, to bless you. See, you know that we not there. Man shall not live by bread and all, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. Important things to know. So, so let me tell you, within the 40 years, where the people were murmuring, complaining against Moses, until Moses, ah, uh, what Got angry one time. See. God told him to speak to the rock, pero pinalo na yung bato. See? Because he was so mad at the people for complaining. He just, he, uh, he whipped the rock with his rod. And then, look at din ang tubig. But the Lord was angry with him. Hindi ka na dapat magsalita ka na. Just speak to the rock. Because ito kay pinalo na, minsan. See? Just like Jesus Christ, pinako na sa cross, hindi mo na kanya ipako pa si Jesus Christ. Just speak to Jesus Christ. Speak His word. So kaya nangyari, hindi nakatawin si Moses sa promised land. Is that right? Amen. Moses was not able to cross the promised land. God took him home and he went into the mountain called Mount Ebo. Natanaw lang niya yung promised land pero hindi na siya nakakross. Because it was just Joshua siya yung humalili sa kanya. See, Mount Nebo is the place where Moses was granted a view of the promised land. The view from the summit provides a panorama of the whole land. To the north, more limited one of the valley, the river Jordan. So makikita natin yung mga kapatid, ang Bimbia na lang si Moses. At uh, sabi ng Bimbia, napatay siya, pero hindi lang kita yung katawan niya. He died, but his body was taken by angels. See, he did not find his body. He died upon a rock. And I believe that rock was Christ. And uh, so, you know, all bearers, angels, took him in heaven. Took him to heaven. At so, you know, buhay si Moses ngayon, babalik na siya, kasama si Elijah. Yeah. For the Jews, Moses and Elijah will go back to them. The 144,000. So Moses is alive today. Amen. Nagpakita na sa Mount Transfiguration no meron. Kita natin. Praise God. Mount Carmel pa namin. Mount Carmel in the, in the book of Kings, Elijah challenges 450 prophets to a particular Baal uh, a contest at the altar of Mount Carmel to determine whose deed he was genuinely in control of the kingdom of Israel. And we showed out a man yeah. with the Baal prophets. Na alam natin na nag-chinalit sila ni Elijah. Sige, ganito na lang. Kung sino ang, ang tutong Diyos na sasagot ng apoy dito sa handog na ito, they offer a sacrifice at binasama ng tubig. Ha? Nilagyan ng water para hindi masunog ka agad. Uh, kaya sabi niya, mama kayo. You go ahead and call your God. Sabi niya, baka natutulog. So these, these prophets were calling on their God, Baal, na uh, uh, magpahulog ng apoy at sunugin. See, wala na mayayari. Sabi nga ni Elijah, baka natutulog lang ang Diyos nyo. Bisingin nyo. See? Praise God. So, hanggang sa sila ay mag, mag uh, laslas na ng mga kamay nila para lang yung Diyos nila sumagot. Magpagpul sila ng kanilang mga uh, katawan. But there was no Baal to answer. And so sabi ni Elijah, tapos na kayo, ako naman. Sabi ni Lord, pinakita mo na ito sa akin noon. Na ito yung susunugin mo, i-consume mo ito. And you will prove to these people that you are the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. See? At pag sabi niya ni Lord, bumagsak yung apoy mula sa lahat. Pillar of fire. It consumed the sacrifice even though it was wet with water. And so, anong ginawa? Dahil doon, pinatay lahat ng propeta. 
ng mga sinuwaling na mga alagaan ni Baal. See? So, mga kapatid, this was a show na on Mount Carmel. Kaya makikita natin na napakalaga rin ng kundog na yan para sa Panginoon. I've been there in uh, Mount Carmel in Israel. I had a tour in 2014, I suppose. Napuntahan ko yung Mount Nebo, si uh, Mount Carmel, and all, Mount of Olives, si things like that. Amen for, I think, more than a week kami doon. So it was a privilege na makarating doon. A brother took care of my my plane ticket. So, pray ng Diyos, mga kapatid, na nakarating tayo doon kahit tayo ay kaga-Pilipinas naman, mga <laughs> kapatid. Amen. So, the next mountain I want you to focus is Mount Zion. Dito, pinatag o tinayo ni Solomon ang templo. Remember the, the temple, the tabernacle, where the Shekinah of glory comes down. See, ito ay nilagay po sa Mount Zion. Actually, Mount Zion refers to the entire land of Israel. See, may kata tayo niya, diba? On the mount, on the top of Mount Zion, there's a city. So, yan po ang city of David. Yan po ang iba tayong syulat pagdating ng milenyo. I believe, uh, kasama yan, mapabasa natin yan sa 2 Samuel 5, 7, 1 Chronicles 11, 5, 1 Kings 8, 1 to 2, and, uh, 2 Chronicles 5 and 2. So, yan po ang tinawag na Mount Zion kung saan ang Diyos ay sasabahin natin sa templo, sa palasyo na ginawa niya para sa kanyang mga uh, anak at sa kanyang bayan. Amen. So, praise God. I would like to specify the next one of great Mount of Olives. Dito na praise the Lord, mga kapatid. Sa Mount of Olives, makikita natin dito, it's the place where Jesus prayed the night He was betrayed. Bago yung pako ang Panginoon, ipanatalangin siya, and He was perspiring with blood. This is the place where He ascended also to heaven. So, napaka-importante ng Mount of Olives. This is also the place where the mountain of the Lord will be set up in the millennium. Sa Mount of Olives, the prophet said it will clean. A great earthquake will break the Mount of Olives and then volcanic eruption will come out of that place and make create a mountain for the Lord to set up His millennial kingdom. This is also the place where He gave sermons on the Mount like the Beatitudes. Dito siya nagtuturo ng kanyang mga uh, talinghaga sa lugar na ito. See? So napakalaga nito. We've been here too. At uh, the Garden of Gethsemane is also located at the foot of Mount Olives. The Garden of Gethsemane, mga kapatid, kung saan siya nag-pray bago siya ang tao sa Cruz. So, this is very important for all of us because Mount of Olives is where Jesus taught the disciples. This is where He, uh, he prayed. This is where He ascended to heaven. See, dito siya Umakyan sa langit after Amen 40 days when he, he uh, fellowship with his uh, disciples after his resurrection. Amen. Praise God. So, number nine, we look at another mountain which is very, very, very important to our salvation. It is called Mount Calvary. Wow, dito pinatay, dito pinako ang ating Panginoon. Diyos na nagkatawang tao, the God of glory. Amen. Dito siya naghirap, dito siya pinagbukat ng mabibigat, ng mabigat na cruz, brother. At dito siya kagurunahan ng tunong pinig. Calvary, Calvary, brother, also called Golgotha, was according to the Gospels a site which was immediately outside Jerusalem's walls and where Jesus our Lord was crucified. Dito ibinuhos ng buhay ng Panginoon. Praise God, mga kapatid. Si, nalagpasan ko yung Mount Transfiguration. But anyway, it was where Jesus was glorified. Amen. So, so Calvary is also called the place of the skull. Ang bundog na, ang lugar ng mga bumog. See, because I believe most people were crucified here. Mga criminals. Yung pinapatay yung kanilang mga bumog ay nandiyan lang, nililibig sila sa tabi-tabi. So, kaya makikita natin, the two things on his right and on the left side 
Kasama na rito mga kapatid na uh, sila ay uh, mga kapatid na matay din sa cross niya. So, praise God mga kapatid. I believe this is one of the mountains na lagi natin alalahan. Brother Bernard said, always remember Calvary every day in your life. Amen. Dahil ito ang uh, lugar na kung saan ang ating bridegroom, ang ating nobyo, ang ating Panginoon ay nag- uh, Pakasakit, dito siya ang pinasla, dito siya sa ikaw na it is finished. Amen. That was it, mga kapatid. So, praise God. We thank Jesus for salvation. Amen. Kung baga sa mga lugar na pinuntahan niya ito, ang culmination ng kanyang ministry. Amen. So, puri ng Panginoon, mga kapatid, at uh, buhay na buhay pa rin ang spirito na yan sa ating at kailangan natin na palagi alalahanin at bigyan ng kahalagahan ang ginawa ni Lord sa Cruz ng Kalbaro. Amen. And I believe after the Lord went to heaven, He sent the Holy Spirit to His church. Pinagdala niya ang kanyang Espiritu. On the day of Pentecost, He came down upon the disciples. At ang sabi ron, repent and Be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So from the day of Pentecost until now, this Holy Ghost promise is unto you and your children's children to them that's a far off, even as many as our God shall call. So ang gabi yun, nababaptize pa rin ang tutuong Kristiyano ng Holy Spirit. So there were seven church ages after Pentecost When Paul came out of the Jewish ministry, iniwanan niya ang mga Jew. Sabi niya dahil, you rejected Jesus Christ, so lo, we turn to the Gentiles. So there were seven Gentile church, churches, or church ages as we call it, from Episo to Smyrna, to Pergamos, to Tepira, to Sardis, to Madelphia, and Laodicea. Hanggang sa ating panahon, mga kapatid. But, There was one mountain na kinatagpo niya ang pangpitong anghel. The seventh messenger, which we know, none other than our brother Branham, is the seventh messenger. At doon, binuksan sa kanya ang seven seals. Doon din binigay sa kanya ang revelation, ang king sword. So it's called the Mount Sunset, mga kapatid. And it's in Arizona, USA, na kung saan, the prophet of God, William Branham, met up with seven angels and received the commission to reveal the mysteries contained inside the seventh seal book of Revelation chapter 5. Dignan lagi si Brother Branham sa buto. He had a, a vision or a dream na dito katatagpun siya ng Panginoon. Look at the mountain. Atos, yung side view ni Brother Branham nakakarpa niya sa buto. Diba? Nakikita niya yung kanyang pulo yan, yung kanyang dino, bibig. Ayan, so... It was a mountain uh, talagang uh, historical hindi accident na dyan siya binigyan ni Lord ng King Sword. See? When he was raising up his students, biglang may ispada na nahuwakan siya. At sabi ng angel, that's the King Sword. Sabi niya, the King Sword? What is a King Sword? That's the word of the Lord. The Sword of the Spirit. So yung revelation binigay sa kanya upang i-preach sa mga nobya ni Cristo for as to get rapture in faith sa ating Panginoon. Amen. Amen. Kaya mga kapatid, dito siya pinatagpo ng pitong anghel. It was published, which we know, praise God, on a magazine called Life Magazine in May 17, 1963. Ito yung pinatagpo ni Brother Branham on Sunset Mountain. See? Ano yan? According to him, this cloud was formed by seven angels when they left him. And he was, he was caught up. Iniangat siya ng pitong anghel na to at sabi sa kanya, ibibigay na ng Diyos ang kapahayagan ng pito selyo. Bumalik ka sa brand ng tabernacle at isiris mong ipakaran. In verse 6 hanggang 7c. So when they left brand of brand of it formed a cloud. Just like that. Seven angels on that cloud. And the cloud is 26 miles high and 30 miles across. Very big cloud. And 26 miles high is already outside of the earth's 
atmosphere. Wala na si Earth yan. Nasa labas na. Which, we know, it is God in a form of a pillar of cloud, just like it was with Israel before. Amen. At sabi na, tinig sa Raja, you're not looking it at the right direction. The boys said, turn it to the right hand side. Sabi nito, God said, turn it to the right hand side. So, tinagilid niya, ano makikita niyo, mga kapatid sa cloud? Can you see it? something? Does it resemble something? This is the earth, and it's like a headstone, the head of Christ. Amen. Looking at the earth, looking for His body. Amen. And the body is the bride. Tayo ang katawa ng Panginoon. Binalikan na tayo ng Panginoon. The appearing of Christ. Amen. Ano ang sabi ng prophet dito? Let's look. Let's read from a shape of him, 1965, July 11. And the very picture of the seven angels being lifted up, turning to the right hand side, and there is the face of the Lord Jesus. In His place again. Looking down to the earth again. And it showed that Jesus was judged. There's a white wing. Sa England, nagbibig yung mga judges. Bago sila, ano, kita yung wing ni John Wesley. So, mga ganon. See? They used to wear, put a wing on, wear it as a judge. In England, they, they do it when you got supreme authority. That's the supreme authority. The headship, the capstone. Amen. Ano pang sabi pa niya rito sa isa pang, sa isa pang quotation? Sa, is, it is the rising of the sun, 1965. And in that, they didn't know what it was. Hindi alam ng mundo kung ano ang significant event na ito sa Sunset Mountain. And with you, just look at this way, it's our Lord up there. Si Brother Branham is not sorry. You see, he is the one who opened those seals. So, hindi si Brother Branham yung bukas ng sendyo. It was Christ. He is those seals. Si Jesus Christ, siya ang seal na nabuksan, na hayan. The revelation of Jesus Christ. For the whole word of God is Christ, and Christ is the seals that was opened. What is the opening of seals then? Revealing Christ. Amen. And the very seven angels which represented the seven churches all completed and we couldn't even see it. They did. They took the picture. Who? Not us. Science. Life magazine. And there he is standing there, supreme judge, showing that he is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. What identification, quickening power did that to us. So napakalagan ng 1963, mga kapatid. It was the revelation of Jesus Christ. And now, it's the bright now ministry. After Brother Branham went home with the Lord, kinuha na siya, si yung cloud na yan, ay, si, bumaba ang mighty angel with a cloud. If you read Revelation chapter 10, di ba? A mighty angel came down uh, uh, in a cloud with an open book, di ba? So, makikita natin na pinala ng Panginoon ang bukas na aklan. At makikita natin na may tinuro si Prophet na painting, Hoffman's painting of 19, uh, or rather of Christ at 33 years old. Ito yun, mga kapatid. See, makikita nyo, Bergman had a revelation that Jesus, the real Jesus, is almost similar or look alike to this painting of, of Heinrich Hoffman, a German mga kapatid. See, kaya nga nilalagay niya sa mga literature niya, sa bahay nila. See, because that's, that's how he will look like pag nakita natin siya mga kapatid. So, look at the cloud, mga kapatid. Halos, almost similar. At sinubukan ko ipatong yung mukha dito through computer editing. Tingnan nyo, mga kapatid. Eksakto. Pasok na pasok ang mukha ni Jesus Christ sa cloud na yan. Which means na tayo ay dinanong ng Panginoon through a cloud and one day, babalik siya physically. See, he will come down in a corporal body to meet the Lord in the air. So this is the, the coming of the Lord in a form of a shout message, in a form of a voice of the archangel to, to uh, raise the dead, that are Christ and then a trumpet, 
will come and take us home to the wedding supper. So yan mga kapatid, like unto a son of man, this the son of man, his head and his hairs were white like wool as white as snow. That's Revelation pala yan. Revelation 1, 13, white as snow. Amen. Okay. Pakilayan natin mga kapatid, no, natatapos na yung ministry ni Brother Branham, we know Brother Branham was used as the Elijah of Malachi 4, the spirit of Elijah. At marami siyang ministry na ginampanan, healing, miracles, libo-libo mga tao na pagaling sa ministry niya in the name of Jesus Christ. At marami yung tumulit sa sa kanya. Marami tao ang uh, siniraan siya because they could not uh, accept and break seven to teach them deeper revelation. Lalo na yung mga denomination, mga theologians, mga kapatid. Si Ang sabi sa kanya, huwag ka na magturo, magpa, magpray over the sick na lang. Kasi, they could not follow the teachings of the message. It's like the original sin, serpent sin, you know, predestination and all those, like, war battles in the name of Jesus Christ. So, isang, isang araw, nalungkot si prophet, parang uh, nawalan siya na, 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 na sigla dahil sa nangyayari ito. So, God reminded him through a mountain. Sabi niya, mayroon ako uh, ipapakita sa iyo na hindi mo makakalimutan. Ito yung seven mountain peaks of Montana. Kung na rin nabasa niya sa message. Isang mahabang mountain range ng pito ang uh, peaks. Nagpapicture nga siya dyan. Black and white. Mga kapatid, yung buhay pa siya. Ito yung sabi na ang help sa kanya, ng Panginoon, brother, let's read from the message, standing in the gap. Sabi rin ka ng Panginoon sa kanya, He said, but that was the prophets of the Old Testament. You've been called to be there in a much higher office than that. Mas mataas pa ang opisina na inawag ka o pagkakatawag sa iyo kayo sa mga propeta sa lunong timan. You have more gifts beside that. You was called to pray for the sick and to preach the gospel in the apostolic form. So, yung sinasabi sa kanina ng Panginoon, huwag kang magtulubinganan, huwag kang manghina. You know, of greater things, many great gifts. He said, why do you wait for me to move you every time you move? Where is your reward? Sabi niya ng Panginoon, nasa ka ang galipala mo. Then I see, and then he said, remember what Brother Robertson told you in your dream in his dream or vision? that you had done like Moses. Kagaya ni Moses din ang naging ministry mo. Sa pagod na pagod si Moses, sa puro murmuring ng mga tao, complaining. See, you forgot the feeling of your people. You forgot the call I called you to. And as Billy and I started at Double Road, dapat ang pamilya na sila, Billy called him anak niya. And the angel said, Capital A, I'll give you an everlasting sign. Bibigyan kita ng isang tanda na hindi mo makakalimutan sa buong buhay. I waited a little bit and nothing happened. Naging tayo si Brother Brown ang tanda. I said, what is the everlasting sign, Lord? He said, look westward from where you are at. Tumingin ka doon sa ganyang uh, nanduran. Nanduran west, right? I look and I just saw a mountain with white caps on it. Nakita niya yung bundok niya. Sabi niya, I don't see no everlasting sign about that. Wala akong makita ng tanda na everlasting Panginoon sa bagay niya. Tuloy natin ang call. Sabi niya rito. Sabi niya, Panginoon, He said, Your name is wrote all over it. Ang pangalan mo nakasulat sa buong bundok na yan. I got real weak. And I started stopping the truck. Billy didn't know what was taking place. I stopped and looked on the mountain. Billy didn't put them. See? And sabi niya, And I see those seven hills. May pito, mga malaliit na buto. You want to see something? There were seven peaks on top of a mountain. One mountain that ran for several miles. The last mountain before you go into the other country. No more mountains after that. It was running from east to west. The mountain said it was snow cap on top. And then sabi dito, the first two small peaks and then a large peak, then another small peak and then a larger peak. The small peak, a 
great large long snow cap mountain and I said, Lord, I do not understand what that means. Hindi ko na naman, yung brother brother ko na yun, paminawan hindi ko na wala sa akin yan. He said, how many peaks are there? Ilang pa nakikita mo, mga tukto? Sabi ni brother brother, there's seven. How many letters in your name? B-R-A-N-H-A-N Mario William Seven Seven, seven, seven Sabi niya And there was three outstanding picks Said those three picks are the first, second, and third pool See? The first one was your first ministry, small hill And your first pool, pretty high And he said that let that stand If there's ever a doubt in your mind Remember this place, come back here So, yan ang gift ni Lord sa prophet niya. Nabili din siya na uh, at the end of his ministry, praise God, ay pinakita sa kanya ito ni Lord. Na ito ay handa na ministry mo ang pangalan mo na kasunod niya. Now, we're not promoting uh, Brother Branham. We're promoting Jesus Christ with old brother Branham. Amen. Because he was a prophet and a prophet is sent to prepare the people to meet Jesus Christ. Just like John the Baptist, sabi niya, sabi ni John the Baptist, I must decrease, he must increase. He brought us Jesus Christ, the revealed word. The message is not Brother Branham, the message is Jesus Christ. And Brother Branham is the messenger of the message, which is Jesus Christ. Ginawa na na siya dahil maraming tao na akala siya na si Jesus Christ. Dahil sa main streets, sa miracles, sa kanyang buhay, First pool, healing, prophesying, and then second pool, I'll not get visions and prophecies, and then third pool, revealing of the hidden mysteries. Lahat yun, ginawa na siya ni Lord kasi hinitingala na siya ng mga tao. God will not share His glory with anybody, sabi niya. So kaya, ang pakingon na ngayon ang ating kasama. Natapos na lahat ng hiwaga, revealed na in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, When it shall begin to the mystery of God should be finished. So the bride will eat the book. Diba yung angel, may book, open book, binigay sa prophet. The prophet preached from the book and John, as a type of the bride, eats the book. Kinakain na natin ngayon ang bukas na alam, which is the message. Para ano? Para tayo ay mahinok sa pananampalatay. To get right and under the sun. So, kaya iniwan sa akin ang maraming mensahe na i-tape sa mga uh, uh, what we call cassette tapes, mga record na 1,200 plus messages of William Marion Brown for us to listen to and deep upon because this is, this message is the perfect interpretation of the Bible today, mga kapatid. So, let me close now with a quotation sa minsahing the bridge. Sabi nito, the Lamb broke the seeds and revealed that to his church in order to collect his subjects for his kingdom, his bride. Oh my, he wants to bring his subjects to him now. Sabi niya nito, now is the bride calling. Ito na katawagan ng mga bride. Halos patapos na ang ministry. Now is when the seven seeds has been completed or has been opened. Now, when the complete things that the reporters left has to be opened and only Malachi 4 can do that. Malachi 4 is Elijah the prophet restoring our hearts back to the children or rather back to the hearts of the fathers. Somebody go, it takes the revelation straight from God to an individual to do so. That's right, it cannot come to a group. Never did one man. Lagi isang tao kinatawag ng Panginoon. Para mag uh, ministry one prophet and then another prophet from whom Malak Awalana, the Isaiah and we have Ezekiel and we have Daniel, things like uh, um, prophets like that so that's what God promised in the shadows of the coming Polish bride at Eliezer so kailan natin si Eliezer, siya yung nagdala kaya rin ka na isa the same, Eliezer spirit was in brother Branham to take us back to Jesus Christ a bride Uh, flesh of His flesh, bone of His bone para tayo naging sa Panginoon. So now I believe, praise God, one day we will meet the Lord in the air. We will go beyond the clouds. Tayo ay sasalubog sa Kanya. Sa Kanya. 
Kaya we will go up into higher places. Sa kayong pala, sabi ng Biblia, ay tumingalakan. Lift up your, uh, your head for your redemption profit. So nakita natin ang mga bundok na kung saan kinausap ng Panginoon ng kanyang mga propeta. And the same thing in, in the last days, mga kapatid, we will be going to the palace. We will be going up in, in a in a twinkling of an eye and to meet the Lord in the air. Hindi lang ito basta mountain, it's beyond the clouds, beyond the stars, beyond the galaxy, it will be a wedding feast in the palace, in the lamps, uh, supper in the sky. So I hope sana, mga kapatid, hanggang tayo at nag-enjoy tayo sa mga uh, bagay na ito na pinatagpo ng Diyos ang kanyang mga propeta at kanyang mga na, sa mga bundog na natin na basa. So are you still in a valley today? Or are you now living in a mountain? So dapat, mga kapatid, hindi tayo magpapekto sa mga magbababang na uh, Uh, uri ng uh, uh, disturbances sa uh, ating paglilingkod sa Panginoon. Tayong lahat ay lagi na uh, sabi nga, heavenly places, upper ground, higher ground, mga kapatid. Si, ganun ang dapat natin gawin. Dahil isang araw, iiwanan natin ang mundo nito. Tayo ay pupunin ng Panginoon in a rapture and I hope that we will see each other there. God bless you tonight, mga